Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a hand woven experience, episode 26. This episode is the second in a three part series all about the major design elements in any weaving project. We kicked things off last week with color, and now we're moving into texture. And texture refers to how does the fabric feel? Is it silky? Is it smooth? Is it soft? Is it fuzzy? Is it coarse? Is it bumpy? There's all kinds of options. And as weavers, we have lots of choices of how we can incorporate that into our fabric. So let me give you a couple examples. This was from a set of towels that I did. And these are my warp yarns here, which the warp yarns are the yarns that are under tension in the loom. I used a cotton because I like all the colors, but also cotton's not going to break very often. But I wanted this project to be all about the texture. So in my shuttle, I decided I would use a bunch of scraps, scrap yarn that I had knotted all together end to end to end. And I put all of the knots on the top of the fabric, making this great kind of nubby fabric. It has this great soft feel to it. A wonderful hand is the word you would say. So that's my first example of how you can incorporate texture into your hand woven fabric. My next example comes from a class that I took many moons ago and it was called differential shrink. And the theory is if you use two very different yarns next to each other, one that shrinks a lot and one that doesn't shrink at all, you get this crazy effect in the washing machine and dryer. So here's what it looks like. Look at this. It's like a slinky. Isn't that cool? This kind of texture, it's fascinating because the actual technique doesn't take that much, but the effect is so amazing. Pretty wild, huh? So those are just two examples of how texture can be a really key player in any of your weaving fabric. To go with this, I have a sweet little freebie just for you. It is the four key design steps to stunning weaving project. And this is the place you would start with any weaving project. What is the goal of the fabric? It'll help you kind of think through all the steps there. And you can pick it up wherever you're watching this. There's a little link down below. Just go ahead and click on yours today. So I hope you learned a little something new about texture and handwoven fabric today. Next week, we're going to talk all about pattern. It's such a good one. I hope you'll stay tuned for that too. In the meantime, have a great week and happy weaving.